All right, tonight we're going to look at something a little new from the Cold Steel 2021 collection. This is the mini leather neck. Let's get into this. Please, please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold, please, hold, please, hold, please hold. It's my pleasure to present Jimmy Slash. Okay, so this came with my knives the other day I got from Cold Steel directly. The mini leather neck. I know a lot of people have been looking at this. This is the double edge version, so this is the super stabby biker version. Check the specs out real quick if we can get those focused. There you go. Perfect. All right. So let's break this out, have a look at it, and see what it's useful for, shall we? Now, I've heard a lot of people were talking about that the Kyoto and how it would be awesome if it was a boot knife. This feels like a boot knife too to me. If you had boots and you're into that kind of thing. So what we got is one, two, three, maybe right at three and a half inches. What are they saying on here? Yeah, three and a half inches. If you went from all the way to the hill, probably that blade's three and a half, just about. But we're going to, actually, I'm going to call it like 3.4 or something like that. So there you go, 3.4 HCR 13 MOV. There's that. Check that out. Good cover shot there. All right. And then you got the Grivix here on the handle, right? No, that's rubber. See, I like a rubberized handle. Can we bite it? Yet, yeah. mmm, that tastes good. No, it doesn't. It's rubber. It's got an excellent lanyard hold here. It's real grippy through here. It feels good in your hand. Now, once again, I had my son grab this and it fit his hand a little bit better than mine. But even though it's it's a little bit small right there on my pinky, as far as what it's gonna be used for, it feels like it would be useful that way. Now, I'm not a huge knife fighter. I haven't been a knife fight in years. Many, many years. More years than I've been alive to be exact. I've never been a knife fight. But I think if I was going to be a knife fighter, I was watching some videos, and this is the way I practice right here. I don't practice a lot, but when I do practice, I practice like this with this kind of knife. Definitely more of a jabby, slashy kind of thing. Now, you see this grip a lot, but my wrists really aren't flexible enough to get down in that position where I'd have to be stabbing upwards into his nostrils, something like that. So from here, just kind of good stab, stabbing motion. It doesn't feel too bad. My hand kind of slips over the side here a little bit, but I got enough meat here to catch this hilt and the pinky. I'm hoping to stop it from sliding. We're going to find out here in a second. So it comes with the Securex sheath. I know a lot of people don't like the Securex. I think people are just going like this and dulling up their knives because I've never had Securex dull up my knife just on normal use. But if you're sitting there going, yeah, it'll probably dull it up. I think I'd hit it with a strop. Or you can just buy a nice Kydex sheath or whatever you want to for that. I'm not sure you want to buy a brand new Kydex for this, but it's up to you. So anyways, I like it for a stabby motion, especially this double-edged blade on this thing. Super sharp. Super, super sharp. Okay. All right, there is no coupon contest going on right now. However, I am going to pull a coupon out and see which one. It will be, oh, did anybody say custom homes? Oh, more, more Valpac coupons, actually. So there you go, super slicey from that side, flip it over, very slicey from the other side. I would try to shave the belly hair, but that double edge feels like it wants to stab me really badly. So we'll do that today. Just right there, it's a very simple stabby, that's what you're gonna use this for. You could use it for utility stuff, but that double edge makes it kind of iffy for getting any kind of leverage on a short knife like that. You'd have to get it all from here because you're not getting anything from here. So as far as using this as a work knife or something like that, this is, I mean, it'll work. It just seems like really, because you get a lot of leverage from here. So if you're doing like feather sticking or anything, you might be able to get some of that. You can get it from here, but you're going to be fighting with this shorter handle jamming up into your hand there if you're really trying to get any kind of super leverage. So if you look at this one in particular, 
I don't know about the other one. If you had your thumb here, it'd be a lot different. But for this one, this just feels like, you know, a hobo stabber. Just, just seriously going in there and using this as an extension of your fist in an extreme kind of situation. And maybe every once in a while using it as a utility type of knife. Now, what I want to do is see how safe this thing is to stab. So what I did was I took this cardboard and I bunched it up into like a cardboard brick. So we have seven layers of like folded cardboard here. See, there's one here, two here, three here, four here, five, six, seven. So there's eight, if I can punch it through right here, that's eight, if not, then it's around seven. So I'm just gonna try and see what it takes just to stab through a little bit and just show you how useful this would be in a stabby situation. All right, there we go. All the way through, you can see where the point went right through there. That's nothing, Dad. Gum it. That was pretty awesome. Let's try that again. Maybe we should get some more cardboard. So I don't mess up my table. Nah, whatever. Just, man. So it's very stabby. Super. I thought it was going to be more dramatic than that. Or take more willpower. Let's see if Mr. Cardboard Hobo had a thick jacket on uh let's say what how many layers is this so we'll fold this over one two so that's three three layers we'll fold this over this way so make that six layers of jacket a six layer big wool jacket here what's this gonna look like well, let's find out oh <laughs> he's still gonna get stabbed all the way through Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's tab over here. Yeah. This thing is awesome. I don't know. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's see if we can stab this way. If there's just a little bit of, you know, a little bit of give so it's not stabbing into something solid. Yeah. Look at that. See? It's still, it's still going all the way through there. Even on the bendy cardboard, it's still cutting through that. All the way through, see? Check that out. I don't know, folks. Let's go right-handed, where the real power is. This is nothing, dang gum it, that's nothing. All right, let's bend this over one more time, shall we? So it's at six, so let's make this a 12 layer. Super, you're getting stabbed in Alaska. You're fighting an Eskimobo. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so here we go. There you go. <laughs> Nanook is not feeling well. <laughs> He's going back to his cardboard igloo. <clears throat> Check that out. That's pretty awesome. Holy freak. That's 12 layers of cloth, seven layers of cardboard. It's just going all the way to the table. Right? Yeah, see right there. There's your stab right there. I'm getting knocks on my table. We have to change out those stickers. Stab that pretty face there. All right, so very stabby super stabby and you can tell i'm not losing anything on my hand i'm not I'm, it's not even a concern that i'm going through that i'm slipping because of this hilt here this guard here is perfect it works great getting that stab on it's going through 12 layers of cloth no it's not super teflon cloth or anything but it's still cloth and cardboard it's messing up everything there. So, very cool. I don't think I can fold it over one more time, can I? Fold it over once again. So now he's got, what is that? Like a Air Force Arctic jacket on. He's up in, he's a Air Force hobo checking out radar in the North Pole. Let's check this out. Yeah, that's nothing. All right, so if you're looking for something stabby to hang around your neck, throw in your boot, this is going to work. It's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. I would get this. Definitely something to carry around your neck if you're in that kind of situation where you want to be able to, you know, just kind of extend your fist a little bit. Now, I wouldn't do it in a fist fight. Take your beating. You know, if you can't fight, that's up to you. Don't get into a position like that. But if you're about to take a three-person beat down, you know, Mr. Mini Leatherneck here might dissuade some people from taking your fruit loops all right let me know what you think is this better what do you like this is the kyoto too 
I'm not going to lie, I think I like this better than the Kyoto 2. Just because the way it fits, it feels a little more stabbier. And I'm not as worried about the way it feels in my hand. Just because it's got a little bit more for my grip than the Kyoto 2 did. Of course with the lanyard, even more useful. But let me know what you think. Do you have anything like this? Do you want something like this? Do you like this one? Do you like the other version of this better that you've seen? Which one do you think you'll like more? I think that's it. Oh, don't forget. Down there, let me know what coupon's going to be next. We're going to do another coupon giveaway this week. And uh, I'll talk to you later.